The United States Navy is today the most powerful sea force the world has ever known. A group of civilians, including this private citizen from Farmington, Connecticut, is invited to make a tour of inspection aboard the carrier Forrestal. Rear Admiral Griffin, commander of Carrier Division 4, welcomes us aboard his flagship. A mighty ship, 72,000 tons of floating steel, 200,000 horsepower, and a crew of 3,000 officers and men. Vessels of this type provide mobile bases for fighter aircraft. The forest all can deliver an obliterating nuclear attack in an all-out war, or a pinpoint attack in a limited one. Lieutenant Kurt Carter is detailed as my guide. The Skyhawk is the smallest combat attack jet and carries atomic weapons. This supersonic fighter is armed with a Vulcan gun and fires 4,520 millimeter shells a minute. The red jerseys identify an aircraft, ammunition, and fuel detail. Captain R.L. Kibbe, the Forest Dolls commanding officer, enthusiastically discusses his vessel's tremendous power and operational ability. The bridge passes the word to cast off. With planes and crew in precise formation, we head out to sea, an inspiring picture of rigid training and remarkable efficiency. Radar of many types are constantly on the alert for friend or foe. No more Pearl Harbors for our modern Navy. The Forest Doll is an awesome instrument of war and a powerful defender of peace. Landing mirror and associated aids assist pilots to make a correct glide angle on their approach to the flight deck. Douglas Sky Raiders warm up for takeoff. Combat tested veterans capable of various missions. A helicopter known as the Angel prepares to fly a plane guard mission as the Forrestal launches some of her operational aircraft. Missile cruiser Boston passes us to starboard. 